This is a CKX Pulse News Update. Good evening, everyone. Education and Training Minister Rosemary Vaudry announced that a Board of Governors will be formed for Assiniboine Community College. Now, the Board will assist in giving the college a more independent system of government. Until then, a six-member committee has been assembled to help ease the transition. Now, in the future, the Board hopes to work closer with the community and industry to develop more viable programs for students. A general meeting was held in Brandon for construction workers on Wednesday night. Now, the main topic was the difference in wages for workers in Winnipeg and Brandon. Many people felt that a lobby group should be set up to tackle the wage issue. The act, which allows Winnipeg workers to make more per hour, has been under review for the past two years. And we're back with the weather in just a moment. What could DeFair's no down payment and no interest for two full years mean to you? This Lazy Boy recliner is yours for just $24 a month. This contemporary five-piece dining group for just $25 a month. This popular oriental sofa now on sale for just $899. No down payment, no interest for two full years. Look for this flyer and take advantage of DeFair's most exciting savings offer of the year. The Brandon City Police have informed us that roads in the immediate Brandon area are extremely slippery. And if you have to drive in the Brandon area tonight, please exercise extreme caution. Roads in western Manitoba are snow-covered and slippery in sections, so please drive carefully. Cloudy with occasional light snow tonight. Light southeast winds, high of zero for tomorrow. And the low Friday night of minus six and the weekend proves to be quite mild with temperatures near zero with cloudy skies. More news at 11 o'clock. This is a CKX Pulse News Update. Good evening, friends. Mayor Rick Borotsik feels that rural Manitoba isn't getting its fair share of the tax dollar when it comes to tourism. He told a task force that little is being done to promote travel outside of Winnipeg. The task force, made up of two committees, the Manitoba Chamber of Commerce and the Tourism Association of Winnipeg, is looking into the situation to hopefully find a way to revise the province's tourism industry. Education and Training Minister Rosemary Vaudry announced a Board of Governors will be formed for Assiniboine Community College. The Board will assist the college in becoming a more independent system of governance. Wanda Sela has more in this story. In order to ease the transition for ACC to a Board of Governors, a six-member intern board has been appointed. Brenda Cook, president of ACC, said the board will work out the governing procedures and policies. She said the board will give all three colleges in Manitoba greater control. We're doing it because um, we, we know that to offer viable programs that are really reflective of what business and industry, the community needs that meet the community's needs, we need a lot of input. And so we need those people around our table helping us to make the decisions as to what we offer, when we offer it, and uh, how we offer it. Of the six members, three are from Brandon, and there's one representative from Wawanisa, Rossburn, and Minidosa. Lorraine McKay is one of those members. Uh, I'm looking quite forward to it uh, because uh, we're both in the same field. Uh, I'm working at the university and the college, uh, you know, with similar goals and objectives. So that's very interesting. Cook said while a lot of details still need to be worked out, by April 1993, when the Board of Governors is in place, the college will be running a bit differently. On a day-to-day -day basis, and once we've got the very broad general direction set, the colleges will be able to function very autonomously. Wanda Salen, Pulse News. Back with the weather right after this. Downtown Brandon, turning to the future. Ray's Fire Safety and Security are pleased to offer a complete line of natural gas fireplaces by Hunter. Financing is available through Centra Gas, OAC. People's Marketplace has holders and the 125 commemorative quarters for sale, as well as furniture, appliances, and household goods. People's Marketplace, north of Rosser on 13th. See TriStar Screen Printing for customized t-shirts, jackets, and uniforms. TriStar will screen print or embroider your sportswear at a reasonable price. Discover downtown Brandon. Cloudy skies for tonight with periods of snow, a risk of freezing drizzle, a southeast winds at 20, low of minus 5. Cloudy skies and periods of light snow again tomorrow with southeast winds and a high of 0 degrees. We'll have more news at midnight. 